Big Daddy here, and today we're going to take a look at Solus. Solus Mate, to be exact. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to look at is the CPU and RAM usage. So right now it's at 1.6 gigabytes, but that's after me opening videos, theming, changing icon sets, backgrounds, uh, and also recording. So that's not a telltale sign of what it's going to actually take up on a normal basis. The cold boot is around 800 megabytes. So if that tells you anything. All right. Now, I don't put a lot of stock in the whole memory issue because when you have it now if I was on a machine that didn't have a lot of memory then I would be concerned about it but I'm on a, on a machine that has 16 gigabytes so the memory itself doesn't really bother me that much the CPU usage is around 40 45 percent while I'm recording cold boot and if I shut down OBS it will be around 2 percent so it's actually pretty good all right, so the system itself is the release 2017.01.01.0. The kernel is 4.8.15, and the Mate version is 1.16.1. 16 gigabytes of memory for the system and an i7-2600. So it is an older i7, but it does run fairly well. All right, let's take a look at the menu. Now, I already did a, a video on the menu, so I'm going to try not to spend a whole lot of time on here. But this menu is ridiculously fast. As the GitHub page says, stupid fast. So I think that's the main crux of why you would use this menu. But it is a menu that's laid out really well. So you have the search at the top. Um, you have the categories on the left, you have your all programs on the right, and a shortcut to control center and software center. Your power options, and that's what you get. But what I like about the brisk menu, and the reason that I have been so high on it lately, is not because it doesn't have its downfalls, or it doesn't have its shortcomings at the moment. Because you can't add any favorites to it. It doesn't have the favorite favorite capability yet. You can't customize it because it doesn't have any settings yet. Um, but this menu, for what it is in its infancy that it is in, because it's only a few months old, has a great layout for functionality and for speed already the main features of the menu itself are so good that it's worth using even without the capability of the favorites and the the other downfall is it, it doesn't open up with the super key it opens up with control f10 but like i said these all these features are planned features that are coming and they've been updating it so regularly i expect them to be out soon and like i said the menu itself is laid out in a way that you would want to use it regardless of that. Um, as you can see, I have installed quite a few more programs since that video, if you did watch it. And um, so it is harder to find software, but the search is so quick that it's quicker than you can type and it makes it so much easier. So those would be the reasons why I'm so high on the menu and I think you I think you should be using this menu all right so the as far as the panel is concerned you can see that this is not the normal Solus Mate default settings I have moved the panel up to the top I have made it transparent I've removed the task manager itself where you see all of your open windows because I installed plank and I use that for any open windows that I have that's the way I normally operate so I like a clean panel across the top and like I said I gotta have transparency that's what I like I move my clock to the center 
and you have your basic system tray options over here. You have a show desktop and your icons, my network and my sound. Now I will say that the sound options are minimal and on the budgie side of Solus, along inside of the Raven menu, you have a great amount of sound options. You can in one click switch outputs, which for me is a super plus because I have uh, a set of speakers that I use and I switch often between the speakers and the headphones. I have the mic that I use. I have the speaker in built into the mic so that I can actually hear. So I switch often and in order to switch here I have to right click and hit sound preferences, go into output and then switch the output itself in here. Where in the budgie side of Solus I can just open the Raven menu and click on whatever sound option I want. So one difference between the Mate and the budgie version, I think the budgie version would have it over Mate in that area because right now all you got to do is all you have is a main generic volume applet. All right. So as far as the software is concerned in the menu, I'm not going to go through the all of the software because I have added quite a bit of um, software since installing it and I don't want to go in and say this was installed or this wasn't because I may get it wrong and say this was installed or this wasn't by default and I'd rather not do that so but I will take you to the software center and show you that now the software center in the home is all of this all this software is built into the Solus repositories and that's one of the pros and cons of Solus so the pro is that this operating system was built from scratch. It's not based on Ubuntu, not based on Arch, built from scratch. And they curate all of the software that are in their repositories as far as they monitor it and they test it to make sure that it's running properly on your system. That's a pro because you have stability and you have a, a clean look across the board. That's also a con because they don't have every piece of software that's out there in their repositories. So you would almost have to decide for yourself uh, what software you need to run and could you run this system on the software that it has. For me, I'm not sure yet. I have to do a little bit more testing whether I could run this as my daily driver, but I have been watching the videos that Rob over at Linux Quest has been making and man, it's so tempting to run this thing as my daily driver and see if I could get along with not having the AUR. See if I could get along with the software that's here. Um, so in this, you have the desktop theming area where I'm a theme guy, you know. So I pretty much installed most of these. They install in seconds. And pretty much anything out of the actual repositories that Solus has installs in a blink of an eye. All right. Not so much with the third party, but we'll get there. Um, I would like to see the back button on my mouse actually back you out of the software center, but you, ha you have to hit this arrow to get out. Now, I don't know if that's specific to my mouse, but either way, I would like it to work. So. There you go. There's my take on that. Um, you have the Office software. You have pretty much everything you need. Uh, LibreOffice you can install. But actually, I installed WPS to try that out to see how that is going to work. And I'll let you know. Well, like I said, I'm not going to go through all of the software. But know that there is a pretty good amount of software in here already. And... Um, it installs in seconds. So here you have updates. Um, here is your list of installed software. And we come to the third party software. Now, um, two things. One, it's great that they put this in here because these are items that are not listed in the Solus repository. So you can install third party software. But the list is small. And for some reason, the install process takes longer, a lot longer at times, 
than you would think it would take, especially seeing how, seeing how fast the software center itself is with the Solus repositories, this takes extremely long in certain cases. So it depends on what you're look, what you're installing, but for NPass, it took about five minutes for me to install NPass, which usually takes about 25 seconds normally. So I'm not sure what was going on with that. But other things that I installed in a previous build, a previous, um, when I booted off the live disk, they installed, you know, in a minute or two. So it depends on which one you're going for. And, well, let's, uh, well, okay. Let's just see here. Let's just pick one. We'll install the Opera browser. Just for testing purposes, we'll see how long it takes. All right, so while that's doing that, you have the Kaha file manager. And although it is not my favorite file manager, it does have enough features and work well enough to be your file manager of choice. Uh, it is not, like I said, it's not my file manager of choice. Dolphin is, but I can't get Dolphin on this. So um, we'll just leave it at that. It's, uh, it's definitely a doable file manager. So there you have it. There's there's how quickly Opera installed. Not exactly the quickest, but maybe that was a bad choice because Opera always installs a little bit slower. But either way, it takes about 30 seconds, something like that, to install certain of third third-party software. Others take a little bit longer. Depends on your your mileage will vary. That's all I'm saying. All right. So your search will um, when you do this. Your search will do search the soulless repositories, not the third-party repositories. All right. Um, your settings here it checks every hour for updates. You can change that if you like, and that's pretty much it on the software center itself. Now the control center is pretty much the way Mate uh, has their control. I mean, it's it's Mate. That's, that's what you're running. So it has. A lot of the reason I say it's not exactly like that because you don't have all of the options afforded to you with Mate because of the lockdown system of Solus. For example, like the Mate tweak, I you know don't remember. I don't think this is installed. I think this is one of the things I tried to install. Um, now I saved my layout. All right, now I'm not going to click these because I don't know what it's going to do, and I don't want to mess up the video, but. Uh, not every one of these settings work. All right, so your choices are Marco, no compositor or software compositor. That's basically your choices. And I would assume that they probably don't even want you messing with that. They probably just want you running the default. So, um, yeah, so there you have it. There's the uh, Mate tweak that I installed just to see what it would look like and what it would do. All right, it has your normal... Uh, Mate settings and you can see these startup applications now I did uncheck a few of these and like the print software to run I don't run the printer software so um, I don't have a printer installed so I don't need that so I unchecked it but other than that it is a very fast um, well, let me say this. Here's the pros and cons. The pros for me are it's extremely fast. The, the brisk menu is got to be at the top of the list for pros. Absolutely the fastest menu on the planet. Um, and with the future looking bright for brisk, I, I think it can only get better from here. So like I said, brisk menu... The whole system itself is extremely fast, opening programs, uh, and that will vary on depending on the program. Like Firefox doesn't exactly open quickly, but it never does on any system. Um, and the curated software is a pro and a con. The pro side of it is you got the software that you need to run, and you know that it's going to run right because of the stability. The cons are the software center. The fact that you don't have availability to install every program you need. Well, for example, 
I would install Chromium, but Chromium's not available. I would install Franz, which is a all-in-one messaging app that has Google Hangouts and Wire and Telegram and all of that inside of it so that you can run one program and see all of your messaging apps. Uh, so there are pros and cons to it. The question is, what software do you run? What software do you need? Because that's the biggest thing with Solus, the software. So can you run and can you get by with what the software that is in it? Um, me personally, I don't know yet. I have to actually test it out for a few more days and check it out and see if I could get by with the limited software that's in there. So that will be a decision you will have to make. But on a whole, this operating system is awesome. It has everything you need, I think, as for a basic desktop. Does it have everything you need? You have to be the judge. So until next time, Big Daddy out. Thank you.